Goodbye, Vietnam. Written and performed by Lance Corporal Chris Lambert, USMC, is his expression of freedom from the guilt, shame, and pain suffered for over 40 years from post-traumatic stress disorder caused by the trauma of combat. Goodbye Vietnam and your shame. Although you're 10,000 miles away and over four decades old, I've allowed you to consume, at times, my heart, my mind, and almost my soul. I've now been given and earned powerful emotional tools to recognize your true time and your true place. This recognition has developed an ongoing process of minimizing the power I've allowed of your memory to have over my life for way too long. It is now my responsibility to keep making your negative thoughts and memories smaller and smaller, then smaller again. It is also my responsibility to share the positive people and actions that have crossed my path here and in country. Friends and foe, hoping these anonymity protected disclosures will help not only Vietnam veterans, but all veterans, especially returning vets in our country's future. Let me begin. Goodbye to monsoon rains, leeches, mosquitoes, bug juice, P-38 can openers, frags, 19 round filled magazines, cloth bandoliers, bone jarring rides in the back of deuce and a halfs, rides inside a noisy C-130s like cargo, inside vibrating Hueys, machine guns throwing lead, and hot brass as we enter that hot LZ. Chinooks lifting us in and out of hell. Goodbye to phrases like Didi Mao, Boku VC, said by little Vietnamese boys as they wisely ran the other way. How about getting short? Boom boom. Incoming. And the one I hate most, Corman up. Goodbye to smells, burnt gunpowder from spent shells that linger after a vicious firefight, body odor from weeks in the bush, same clothes, no showers, the stink of diesel fuel burning base camp shitters, or worse yet, the smell of days old sunbaked corpses. Goodbye to shit on a shingle, powdered eggs, powdered milk, quinine tablets, you try only once. Malaria has to be better. Lousy food or none at all. Where is the damn resupply chopper with our mail and sea rations? Sea rats, don't forget ham and mothers. Goodbye to jungle rot, gook sores, dysentery, no sleep, no cigarettes and that unspoken, hidden, deep terror is tonight, the night I die. The emotional numbness developed to cope as a human being in the midst of war's carnage and death. Goodbye to flesh-cutting elephant grass, humps of 20 and 30 clicks, how many clicks can a person hump in one day? The scary jungle where every spot could be an ambush. 
bamboo vipers, other snakes, huge bugs, booby traps, trip wires, and mines. Goodbye to pallet floored tents, uncomfortable cots with backpacks as our pillow, letters written in candlelight, or letters from home, read, then reread, somehow bringing you closer to the cinder. That heavy, sweaty flak jacket and helmet, our steel pot. We cook in it, shave in it. It was our pillow, our chair, and unfortunately, the crowning symbol of a battlefield goodbye to our fallen. Goodbye to Black Pajama VC, NVA, Ho Chi Minh. How about the other enemy back home? Saliva spitting protesters, hippies, draft dodgers, Jane Fonda, LBJ when he stopped the bombing. I will not resent any of you one more day. We all had a cause and we were all misinformed. But my fellow veterans and I can proudly look in the mirror. I volunteered. This letter is ownership of my part and my memories. I proudly did exactly what our forefathers did before. If you would have informed me of PTSD and my changed and altered life, your warning would have most certainly fallen on deaf ears. Due to youthful innocence, combat had an allure of romance and honor. So goodbye, Vietnam. Take your shame and your pain. I'm now a proud Vietnam veteran. Lance Corporal Lambert, Alpha Company 1-5, Vietnam, 1968-10. United States Marine Corps, 67-89.